What's up and welcome gamers to a new Lost Scammers of Ixalan standard video. Well, I don't want to say I broke the mana, but I think I did. I just went on a 13 and 0 win streak in standard best of 3 into the top 60 mythic with the Simic Artifact Brew. So this is a super aggressive Simic deck that uses artifacts and exploring for payoff. We have Teething Burn within the deck since the card gets more powerful the more artifacts you play. We're also playing Ginger Brute and Zoetic Glyph in this deck together to make an unblockable 5-4 Ginger Brute. The deck also plays Surge Engine and it's another artifact that we can make unblockable and buff up. So if the deck plays both Ginger Brute and Search Engine, we want to also play Agatha Soul Cauldron to make the entire team unblockable when we exile a Ginger Brute or Engine with the Cauldron's ability. And with so many artifacts in a Cauldron, we're also playing Tough Cookie to turn our map tokens into 4 4 attackers. So we got some Explore Synergy in a Subterranean Schooner, Spyglass Siren, Sentinel of the Nameless City, and the Kenzel for more Explore payoff. Exploring works fantastic in making our unblockable threats even stronger and fixing the top of our deck. Now, Simic isn't really known for its creature removal, so we're playing counter spells instead, and Disruption Protocol is the perfect counter spell in an artifact deck like this. So, yeah, like I said earlier, as of now, I'm 13 and 0 in best of 3 ranked into the top 60 mythic with this deck. I'm blown away by the monster I've created, and the deck is just amazing. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and let's check out this incredible Simic artifact Cookie Explorer Brew. Cookies to the top, let's get it. Okay, let's not get it. It's a bit better, I guess. Mm, I'm gonna have to be greedy here and kick the land. Exploring. Playing with cookies. I'm getting a heart. Is this a bestie? I'll send you a heart back. You better not be mean. Heart for a heart. I got six sleeves. Really, really cool sleeves. Cleric, ayo! Mm. Is there someone playing Amalia? Episode I should have held up. I mean, I couldn't have it anyway, so. I think so. Please don't do it. If this is. I mean, I guess I couldn't cast Curve out into Amalia with having on Cleric, so... Save there. I think, yeah, I think they must be besties. Might be my Amalia deck. Well, a girly needs land, so I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Pour me a land, please. Thank you. If we lose, at least we lose to a brew of mine. <laughs> what a brew of mine. Oh shit, boys of the blast. Getting real scary now. See, like, we're already, like, suffering under these tap lands, you know what I mean? Else we could have done Cauldron and hold up Disruption Protocol. Like, it sucks! Can we get good lands? What do we- what does a girl have to do? For good lands. This world of suffering, man. The pain. The pain. Never ending. Oh, I guess we can't even counter shit because it's a fucking cleric. All right, hate it here. Shit. Oh no. I think we have a really bad matchup here. We have zero removal. Lunark veteran is just gonna destroy us. Awkward. Other Tapper with the Sabotage as well. Like, let's keep the vibes going, guys. Good, good shit. Good shit. <laughs> good shit. Love it. Not to enjoy. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess we'll play Tough Cookie. I, I think we're just like kind of screwed against the voice of the blast though, but. Yep. Crying, shaking, thrown up. Yup, it's true. Definitely. Sucks to be up against the Molio deck. Like, the life gain just gets us. I don't think we can stand a chance. Unless we can turn the whole team into like unblockables, but. Not there. Death losing this race. At least she scoundered. So what, like, tough cookie, anime, map, six, uh, I guess you can't attack with the search engine, but I guess that's... Well, at that point, you're kind of just dead to them gaining life, right? Because the voice of the less goes in the air. So that's rough. Um, might just be like schooner on cookie. Search engine into can be blocked range and then hold up life gain. And then I don't think there's much more we can do. No, we need we need to respect like the voice of the blessed buff up trigger the opponent side. We gotta. If you go all in with that and like accept you just put yourself to six, one life gain and voice of the blessed is like a six six with flying. And vigilance like he can't. Really can't do that. Archangel? Right, so they're swinging for. I think we did it, guys. Strategize the fuck out of that. <laughs> Wouldn't need a land. They didn't get it. Bless. evil if they did that please give me more than one land oh what that's a thing and i hate mulling like that deep that sucks crying shaking No, no, uh, I was thinking uh, Lotus Combo. You can do Inishra events and vote for biggest flop. <laughs> Lisa's moment to shine. Lisa, biggest flop. Yeah, Lotus Combo, Soul Tight, Lotus Combo, or whatever the hell is. God, I don't want to lose my schooner! All right. I was hoping I'd get a buff on the engine, but okay. <sighs> Another day. Hidden strings, yeah. I'm sad. Bessie's gonna beat my ass. It's gonna suck. Please don't. Mold of Five just doesn't help, like... At all. Negative vibes. At least we have like poo tokens that we can turn into like some attackers, but it doesn't look great. Yeah, the Lotus deck is a confusing pile of shit. Please don't, man. Okay. Ugh. 
Try to be positive. Try to be positive. Try. Sick and twisted. Sick and fucking twisted. All right, well, that's it, guys. GJs, we ran out. We had two threats and they had two cutdowns. The rest is lands. Vibes, truly. All right, maybe Surge Engine can save us. Maybe. Chokil top 5. Chokil is real good, yeah. Alright, if we don't get rid of that Respondent Angel, it's going to... It's going to, like, do something for them. Better, I, like, I, I, I have to hit removal. Well, shit, I guess. Severely punished for playing a deck without removal. Because they gain life, so everything is like, kind of goes to shit, you know? Is that an Agonjo? Man, we ball. I hope maybe they don't know about like the hidden, uh, Hidden text. Our best bet. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Please, like, no more lands. God damn. You tell me, Chief. Oh shit, foam, that sucks. I'm so sorry. That's awful. I like what I guess I just won't beat the resplendent angel here, I don't think. Like that shit's horrible. I'm just gonna activate it. Mm. And Look at all these chickens. The life gain is like... Mana, we have six available. I could buff it up, so I need to be able to gain life, I think. So you're gonna swing at me for what, like nine in the air? Actually, more than that. Yeah, nine in the air. I'm at 10 right now. I guess technically, if I go to 13. So what, like, swing, swing, block, block. We take two extra, so you take, what, nine plus two, eleven? 
buffing it. Oh, you fucking kidding me. This person's been so good at Tobekking removal, man. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Must be nice. drew one piece of removal less, we would have gotten out of that one. Heartbreaking. Are they throwing? What? I dumb? I guess I get an angel. Alright, my friends. 16 power, one turn. <sighs> How can we do that? Cool. So that is 12, 13. We need to be able to like activate the. Cannot be blocked on everything. So this thing already. Am I actually going to be like one mana short? Six, twelve. If the explorers hit, do I win? Fuck. Please. <laughs> Sweating, crying, shaking. <laughs> uh... Well, <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, we got to mold that. All right. Some teething wormlet value, I guess. Hand isn't really looking super exciting, but we can uh, we can find something good, maybe. Another dress. <laughs> Another dress in the main gamer. Love that. Oopsies. Okay.
And all of a sudden, we might be in this game. Subterranean schooner with the rescue. Eventually. Schooner, like, buffing up the ginger boots is also so nice because you can, like, make them unblockable at some point and help yourself out. Wee woo! Things are getting removed. Uh. I was gonna say, like, I wouldn't mind a counter spell or anything. I'm gonna actually, like, attack like this. Right, I'm playing the Surge Engine out first. No, we need to do better. Volume moment for Death Card has passed. Surge Engine, the little engine. Oh, and it's probably sitting on some, like, go for the throats, I imagine. They held their mana up and didn't do anything. Okay. I didn't even, like, jump at the rest of this cottage. I hope so. I have to say, you. Let's try. But, like, it's always easy to forget that Buseju has, like, the hidden text of, like, hitting manlands, but it does have it. <laughs> like, it does have it. Spent your mana. Waste your mana more so than anything. Spoon? Like, we're fucking, we're fucking doing it. Like, they're probably stuck with, like, two or three, like, open throats in hand. <laughs> Oops, all artifacts. Yeah, it's true. It's just great, though. Love it when it does that. Mm, okay, I guess I kind of played into that. It's bad. They, they told like that, though. Else they would have removed it earlier. Sure. I get the Skullrun. Could be huge. Can turn our, make our schooners, like, unblockable and stuff. Which is quite nice. Even buff the schooners up its L. Can we? Yeah, is that what I want to do? Probably. It's a bit like, I mean, I don't know how they would punish me for this, really. I don't need, like, three boats. I mean, I do like the boats, but... Not looking too bad. <laughs> that was literally Schooner soloing, by the way, mind you, like. Um, looks pretty fire. I mean, the tap lands are awkward, but okay. As long as we can play Bolton too, we're chilling. Hey, give me one second to go grab this real quick. Oh. Anything else with the double trigger artifact feature? Which one? The... Which one? The, yeah, the, the zero one two drop? Is that what you're on about? The Zelda one? Oh, the fucking throne. Oh, I don't know about that one.
I really want to hold up disruption protocol, but also like, you know. She got terror beside you. Okay, I guess we're holding up disruption protocol. Thing is, if you guys, if there's anybody in the chat right now and you have a Magic Arena account and you enjoy playing Standard and you have not played with the boat yet, do yourself a fucking favor and play with that boat. Your life will change. Like, the boat, boat is the truth, man. Like, it really is. Boat is the absolute truth. Like, for the people that were like Bankbuster enjoyers, like, it's so good. Wish I open boats. It's just incredible. Like, <laughs> it's incredible. The Merfolk, yeah, the, the boat and the Merfolk enchantment was in one of my Merfolk decks that I build. And I don't know, did that kind of flop? I still feel like I can win games. Maybe I had a bad day. I don't know. What makes it so good? Everything, like everything. The fact that it's literally cruise for one. The fact that it fixes your top top of your deck, like oh yeah, we'll take that. It's incredible in every way to word. The value is just ridiculous. Anyways, did you see the Soetic Glyph giving us a search engine there for the win? Sheesh! <laughs> Flavors. We love to see it. Um. Yeah, I guess so. We have the Nicanzel Sentinel value, I guess. That's pretty good. Ginger Brute and Sentinel value as well. On the uh, the Wormlet. But activating our boy. Now, my brews have been pretty successful. Like, ever since LCI dropped, my brews have been doing pretty good. Quite exciting. The Malia one was good. Pirates has been great. The White Flash was really good, too. Brews have been on fire. Now, this thing, <laughs> this monstrosity. gonna drop schooner and um maybe i'll drop double schooner actually well i'd miss out on my wormlet value um yeah no i won't do that i don't think swing first what a start like crazy is the boat strong it's <laughs> I think Strong doesn't even begin to cover it, like... Strong doesn't even do it justice. This thing is straight up just broken. It's just broken. Two mana, three, four, crew one, and like, explore, like, what the hell? It's quite, quite crazy. So, there's gotta be Liesl here somehow, right? If we crew off the ginger brew. I mean, it's kind of like you don't need to do that, but just for my own sake. You know what? That was actually pretty unlucky. We can still win here, though. We just need to, like, now actually, like, hit the right explorer. If this is another land, we're fucked. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. No way. Three lands with the top? That's gonna make us not hit lethal. Fuck.
Dude, I mean, I don't know what the odds of that are, but okay. I hope they can't recover, but... Okay. The only thing we needed to do there was give the Nicanzel like, a 1-1 counter. <laughs> Goofy. It three explorers to try and make that happen. It was only Lance. Whatever. I thought I had it. To be fair, I thought I just fucking had it. I'll, I'll still win. But I thought I just had it. But, like, how do you whiff on three explorers and a 22 land deck? Like... Anyway. I was just getting greedy with it. I thought there's no way we lose those. My bad. Anyways. Wow, we're actually four lands on top. That's crazy. We can just do like Rest is Vine Stalk, buff Ginger Brute, make it unbookable. I guess. Yeah, I really thought that was like our game. To, like, that's. Anyway, whatever. I'll take it. Crazy. Like, we whiffed fucking four times. <laughs> Bird. Gingerbread glyph. So, yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's worth doing. We have a lot of counter spells already. Like, if we have both spell pierces and four copies of disruption protocol, I don't think we need stainful stroke, anyways. And Tidebinder is kind of a counter, but also kind of not, and also helps us through like Cavern of Souls decks. So I think I'm vibing. I think I like that. All right, an army of artifacts. Let's go. That's suspicious. That's weird. I want to be respectful, like potential cut downs here, I think. Okay. I just fuck around and glyph my ginger brute. All right, we have two creatures that are fucking huge and cannot be blocked. So I think this is an easy way to victory unless... Worst thing that happens to us is Brotherhood's End. Oh, the end on the... Wow, okay. Y'all ever just have your gingerbread hit by the end? <laughs> That's so crazy. All right, new easy RNG search engine. We vibe. God, if only we had this luck when we were playing the fucking qualifier, huh? Well, <laughs> oops, all unblockable. I do need more than one land. Doesn't really feel like it's a wedding glyph hand. Doesn't really feel like a disruption. And either. I mean, it depends what we're up against, right? I feel like I'll do... It'll also just be Wormlet. I'll do Wormlet, actually. Not a whole lot of Wormlet value. Because we could, with this hand, we could kind of like tempo it out. Like we can buff up the surge engine to attack and like hold up disruption. Or I guess just hold disruption up because it's three mana now. Let's see. Mirror yeah, X could eventually give us a might that we can hit with the glyph. I think we need to play it safe. Point with affliction. Oh, is it? Poison or track? Mm, I don't know. Uh, anyways, this is kind of my own cre my only creature, so...
Yeah. I want to say, like, Esper Toxic maybe again? I don't know. I don't know. It could just be, like, Esper Control. That felt like a Tishana Tidebinder for a second. What? Right, I can't really do anything about that. So we could turn a map token into a Soetic Glyph thingy. It's pretty good. Let my land to respect and make this appear. See if that works, I guess. What else are you gonna do? Memory Deluge. Just like that. They're definitely Esper Control. That is for sure. Just gonna like explore then, I guess. All right. So if we get Sunfall, we do still get this wedding Glyph Trigger, which is why I love the card. Let's see. Super Mario, I love that view. That's weird. Suspicious. I think I'm just gonna attack and uh, we'll hold up the sweaty glyph and stuff. Like, I'll just do Siren now and we'll hold up Mirax. I have a source fetch. <laughs> Um, uh, maybe when Mean Girls just got released. Maybe then. I think we're pretty good here, like... Unless it's for well. But then I do still have Restless Vine Stalk swinging. And I have a Mirax, so that would go for, like, enough. Nice try, control player. We were one step ahead of you. <laughs> that was a clean fucking game. That was a clean fucking game. Proud of that one. Hey, we do love to see a spell beers. Hopefully that's gonna do some uh, some good stuff for us. Especially, especially because hopefully there'll be pressure to like cast their spells on day multi five. Ooh. Ooh. We'll start with the siren now because you now we don't know. We're gonna hold up our blue next turn. We could do like ginger root. Well, actually, we don't need to go that extreme. I mean, the worst thing they could do to me is temporary lockdown. But okay, I guess. Put the cookie in play. I love this deck because it's playing my favorite card from Wilds of Eldering, Tough Cookie, and my favorite card from Lost Cavern of Ixalan, the schooner. <laughs> in one shell. Like, it's very nice. Good vibes. Alright, we need to find a land somewhere. I guess so. Yeah, we gotta be respectful of Wandering Emperor now, so we're holding up Pierces. Would have loved to, like, tide bind the Emperor instead, but I don't have the mana. 
else I would have done that? Shutting the Wandering Emperor down with tie binders, like something I haven't done yet. I've been wanting to, but I haven't yet. It's bad. So my my bucket list. <laughs> so my bucket list: screwing the Wandering Emperor player out of it by time binding it. One day. One day. I'm sure we'll get there. Okay, guess we swing. Oh. Drown the hag. <laughs> Tight bind the hag. Is it qualifier? No, I wish. I wish. Protocol, also not really something we can vibe with. Um. Yeah, I, I think we gotta explore. We need we need a land drop. It's gonna get awkward if we don't. Let's see. We manipulate top of the deck. Eat something. I kind of should have like sequenced that differently though, because Elsa could have like held up the, the protocol already. All right, they're not really playing like they have a board wipe to me. Yeah, I'll keep screwing on top. Not really getting like, oh, I'm gonna board wipe you any second vibes. So we'll probably just win this game with the Zoetic Glyph, I think. Shoot, what the fuck kind of aggression is that? Well, I don't think I can get normal one tonight. That seems a bit impossible. Like, I'd have to stream for, like, another like, six hours, I think. But... Whip on... Dude? Alright, they're dead. Cannot be stopped. <laughs> Fucking hell. 12-0. Well, Alright. Oh, we're getting to number 12. Getting intense now. What? What the fuck? That's a card. I forgot this thing was still in standard, huh? Wow. All right, well, this opponent is cooking as well, clearly. Let him, let him cook. <laughs> Whoa, Plaza of Heroes, Centennial, like, Centennial Stell Word? Like, what is happening over here? I mean, I'm looking respectfully. Looking mama vibes. This thing can actually like, destroy me, by the way. I'm confused and scared, yeah. <laughs> it already is. Literally draw gave him like two lands at the top. Crazy. Like, what's going on here? I seem to be like a go wide kind of deck. I don't think we have the best matchup against that. Only even can go like hard with like big unblockables. They also have life gain attached to it all. 
interesting. I like readers, what the shit? Oh. I mean, I think I just gotta be greedy. Ideally, I can, like, explore a land to the top or something. Would they board wipe me? I want to say no, right? I don't know. This is really strange. Trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Like, Celestia go wide, but then there's also black mana available. I don't know what that's for. The Stalwart's also spicy. They're probably playing the two drop legendary, like, that taps humans for lands kind of thing. As well, I imagine. White Hoof? Maybe here? Are they White Hoof? That'd be crazy if they actually managed to put White Hoof in like top 20. I'd be shocked. <laughs> I'd be so impressed. That's that'd be that'd be diff. Anyway, so we're just gonna make these creatures unblock. Or I guess, you know what? I'll probably just do Gingerbrood unblockable only to 5-4. Because they gain life anyways. Gotta be a little careful here. Okay. You got a roaming throne brew for you. Cacophony scan thrill seeker and gruff strip is all our warriors. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. It could be Wandering Emperor? No idea. Alright, one's gonna take a risk in my hand, I guess. Left to keep play. The Meme Shaker? I don't know, is that what it is? Settle the wreckage? <laughs> Seven mana available for them. Moonshaker's what, seven or eight? I want to say eight. I don't remember though. I've never, literally never cast a card. I did once in like a sealed run of mine and I never managed to cast it. It's just kind of unfortunate. It's eight, right? Yeah. Sunfall Ultra. <laughs> Shit. That was weird. Yeah, love that for them. They have to mole. Rough. Firmlet. Vibes. Boat! Oh, I'm so happy to see Boat. Could have bolted a bird, but I'll wait on the uh, auger. Autumn. Not a really like a true bird, anyways. A bit more awkward than that. Hmm. I think that's a reasonable witness protection, I guess. Like that.
Bring of ginger roots is so nice because we help with the like unblockable plan. One's at 14 already. A oh, new one. Well, you know, at least one's better than like two active, so I whatever that's worth. <laughs> Right, I have just one Galagreer doing work, then two of them, so... In the bat. Alright, that's fine. Just grabs a ginger root, it's not the end of the world. Patchwork? I don't think it's needed, like... Do we feel like we're missing a patchwork? Like, I don't think so. We're doing, like, much more, like, evil and, like, powerful things. I don't, I don't think we need any of that. All the life gain. Should let me buff up the wormlet. Glyph would slap. Glyph would just absolutely slap. But I think we're uh, looking pretty good no matter what here anyway. Yeah, I guess I could go on another greeter. Opponent just gains a lot of life, and we, we're gonna have to stop that, so then the witness protection is gonna help us out again. We haven't really seen them, like, aggressively, like, pop deck. They've just played a lot of 1-1s. I honestly, honest to god, I have no clue how their deck beats the Sunfall. Like, that's blowing my mind. Like, really blowing my mind. Like, how they managed to do that. I don't know. We're drawing lands. I mean, it's not end of the world to rest is fine stock, so... They don't against like, what do they do against sunfall or like death like because they don't they're not even playing counter spells so like what do they do against you know glistening deluges path of perils brotherhood's ends like feels like their whole deck just fucking loses on the spot to that it's crazy deep cavern bad to hit the sunfall <laughs> dang well maybe does the bad just grab it yeah like Genuinely curious if that's how they play their stuff out. Some games where opponent gets three sunfalls. Dang. You just don't compare against players with. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I thought we were going to get 69, but we got 60. 